stay bright and brilliant as some rainbows do the whole time I drove in until I got too close and the angle switched. But um, I took it as a sign that God was uh, blessing our worship and our program this morning. So um, it's good to see all those who are joining us on Facebook Live. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty this morning, so we're streaming from my page. So I'm hoping uh, no one has any issues um, watching the live stream, but uh, thank you for being here, and we, we apologize for um, for that inconvenience if it doesn't work. But it will be on, it will be saved as a live video on our page, so you'll be able to watch it. Uh, well, uh, not a lot of announcements other than to stay uh, this Wednesday. We'll be having uh, Wednesday midweek Advent worship, so our final one for the Advent season. It's a beautiful half-hour um, service, and so it's live stream, but also here in person, and you are welcome to join us for that. And then Christmas Eve, we'll be having a 5 p.m. and a 7 p.m. worship service. 5 p.m. will be live streamed. <laughs> Um, and save it to YouTube afterwards. And then Christmas Day doesn't happen very often, but it does fall on a Sunday. So there will be 9 a.m. worship on Sunday morning on Christmas Day. We'll be doing a lessons and carols service, and you are all welcome. Um, the, but there will not be a live stream on Christmas morning. Thanks to everyone who brought gifts for the giving tree for LSI, and and uh, they came to pick up the gifts and were um, so grateful and overwhelmed by the abundance and the generosity. So we know that um, that your gifts are um, serving their purpose in sharing God's love with someone this holiday, this Christmas. Young at Heart will meet December 29th, so that's not um, changed from the holidays at all. It'll be December 29th, 9 a.m. at the 6th <coughs> <Alley> Grill. <coughs> that is all. So um, thanks to everybody who's worked so hard in um, preparing for today's program. And um, off we go.
will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Our Lord Jesus, be born in us today. Congratulations, you're expecting a baby today. Many of you may be, be surprised by this news, but didn't you c come here today expecting to hear the birth announcement of baby Jesus? Well, maybe you didn't expect him to actually be <coughs> here in person. After all, Jesus was born more than 2,000 years ago, far away from here. You just came to remember the event with joyful celebration, right? Perhaps you even came expecting the chance to truly reflect upon and give thanks for the incredible sacrifices Jesus made for us when he died on the cross so long ago. And you're looking forward to someday living with him in heaven. But did you actually come expecting a baby to be born to us today? That changes everything. But it is indeed what we can and should expect. The birth of Jesus is the fulfillment of God's promise to send a savior, his own son, to bless the people of every time and nation. And though his days on earth in human flesh were short, he is with us still today. He is born to us today and every day, bringing renewal to our weariness, bringing light to our darkness, bringing his power to our weakness, bringing guidance to our questions and quandaries, and bringing salvation from every sin that holds us captive. 
Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. Therefore, as the angel Gabriel told Mary, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Expect him, cherish him, pray, be born in us today. There, the manger for the Sunday School Christmas program is all done. Great, now you can get to work on the crib for our new baby. We might not be able to be in the Christmas program this year because our baby brother could be born that day. Yeah, and I was supposed to get the lead role this year, but it turns down that mom might have the baby that day. Our baby brother isn't even here yet, and our plans are already changing because of him. Having a baby will change things for our family, but he's going to be a blessing to us all. You'll see. In fact, our Christmas baby can remind us of another baby who changed his family and brought blessing to us all. You mean baby Jesus, but how can our baby remind us of Jesus? Hmm. I think maybe these baby shower gifts can help us explain. Let's start with this one we haven't opened yet. It just came today. Ah, yes. You see, long ago, God promised to bless his people with a gift so amazing it would change their lives forever. But before God revealed that gift to the world, an angel told a young girl named Mary about the special baby that would be born to her, bringing blessing to all people. Mary was a little worried when she first heard the news. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph from the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. When Mary's fiancé Joseph heard the news about Jesus, he was afraid and wanted out. Joseph must have felt like I feel sometimes about having a new baby in the house, but an angel calmed him down too. Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. They didn't feel prepared at all, but Mary and Joseph trusted that their baby was God's gift of a Savior promised long ago. Like our baby, the timing of Jesus' birth didn't seem convenient to his parents. But God's plan was right on schedule. Not like the shower gift that came a bit late. God had said the Savior would be born in Bethlehem. But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, from you shall come forth for me. One is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from old, from ancient days. Oh yeah, Mary and Joseph had to take a trip to Bethlehem just before Jesus was born. That must have been hard for them. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, 
because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, who was with child. Mary and Joseph probably didn't understand everything that was happening. But one thing is for sure. When Jesus was born, he brought blessings to them and to the whole world. I don't know how our baby brother will change our family, but I'm trusting God that he will be a gift and a blessing. Not quite as blessing as baby Jesus is. I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night. You'd better get used. You better get used to it. When our baby brother is born, nobody's going to get any sleep around here. True, but eventually he'll learn to sleep through the night. In the meantime, I will make good use of the shower gift. Some nice herbal tea and a bubble bath can give me some renewal when I get weary. This gift can also remind us of how the baby born in Bethlehem is still with us, bringing renewal today. All but Mary was ready for a nice bubble bath when she got to Bethlehem. But there's no room in the inn, remember? While they were there, the time came for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Wow, Mary didn't just have a crying baby to keep her up, keeping her up all night. There were moos and baas too. She needed some serious renewal. The baby Jesus would bring renewal. More than physical comfort, Jesus came to renew his people who are weary from sin and the pressures of a sinful world. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. He renews in us this life and promises eternal life with him, with no more crying from anyone. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. These things might help mom make it through sleepless nights with the new baby. But the renewal Jesus brings will strengthen us in all our troubles. 
Yep, Jesus is my cup of tea. Hey, am I going to have to share a room with my new baby brother? Mom, will you still come to my soccer games after the baby is born? I know you're anxious, kids. I have questions, too. I wonder how I'll provide for my growing family. I believe I can shine some light on this subject. This nightlight can remind us that Jesus brings light to a world of uncertainty. That's right. Because of sin, we often let fear, selfishness, and pride control us. That leads to some dark places. So, we need the light of Jesus to shine in our hearts and show us the goodness of God's plans for us. Remember the night light God sent the shepherds the night Jesus was born? There were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will come for all people. For unto you this day is born in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. God used some high voltage lightning to lead the shepherds to Jesus. But he gives us something even brighter. He shines in our hearts each day and gives us faith to see Jesus. For God, who said, let the light shine out of the darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. This nightlight will help us see our baby in the dark nursery, but Jesus' light will, always, will let us see his love in all dark places.
kids, can you make room at our table for this new high chair? The baby may have a higher seat at the table, but he's going to learn that he's a low man on the ground, on the totem pole in this family. Yeah, I won't be the youngest anymore, so I'll get to boss him around. All right, kids. Before you get too carried away, this high chair can remind us who really has the power in this family. That's right. The angels that appeared to the shepherds made that perfectly clear. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. The power of God was wrapped in swaddling clothes that night. Jesus, the Son of God, was born to us. The Bible calls him kings of kings and lord, the lord of lords. That's why the shepherds wanted everyone to know about him. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Jesus has power over sin, the devil, and even death. Jesus' power is stronger than anything else. And his power is at work in us, just like it was in the shepherds who went and told everyone the good news of Jesus. Jesus, you have the Jesus, you have the highest chair in this house. Let's praise him together with a song. forward to reading books to the baby and teaching him about the about animals and ABCs. And with this children's Bible, we can teach him about Jesus. 
that's very important because the Bible doesn't just tell stories about Jesus. It's where we actually meet Jesus. Jesus has been with us since before the beginning of time. Some were able to see him when he came to earth. But even now, he's with us as our Lord and Savior, teaching and guiding us through his word. In the beginning, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. This Bible tells us that God's word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. We can't see Jesus the same way the shepherds did, but we see him right here in his world, which guides us to him.
I know things will change a lot once our baby brother is born, but you know I'm starting to get pretty excited about it. A baby does change everything, and baby Jesus brought us the biggest change of all. Jesus was born to bring salvation. That's a fancy way of saying he saved us. Now our lives will never be the same. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Jesus rose from the dead. His victory over death won for us life forever in heaven with him. This cross is a gift to celebrate the day your baby brother will be baptized and become a child of God. It reminds us of our own baptisms when we became part of God's family. A family changed forever. Okay, baby brother, we're ready for you. You can be born anytime. And Jesus, we want you to be born in us, all of us, today. Together with the whole church, we pray for the world, for God's creation, and for all those according to their needs.
joy and peace and love and hope. All of the things that the lights of the Advent wreath have represented to us through this season. Help us to anticipate as if it were the very first time that Christ is coming to be born in us. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, we give you thanks for all the saints, those who have gone before and those who are yet to come, and us as your saints among them. We pray for all those who mourn and who are grieving, those for whom this holiday means that there will be an empty chair at the table. Wrap all of those in your comfort and love, and may our memories be increase with joy in knowing that one day we join with all the saints in praise of you. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gracious God, all these and whatever else you see that we need, grant us in the name of your Son. And once again, we grant, we grant us that Jesus will be born in us. Join together in the offering prayer. Eternal God, you make the desert bloom and you send the springs of water to thirsty ground. Receive these simple gifts of bread, wine, and money, and make us messengers of your mercy and love for all in need of your healing and justice. We ask this through Christ our Savior. Amen. <coughs>
The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Faithful God, in this meal you have remembered your mercy, bringing heaven to earth in the body and blood of Christ. As we wait for the day when all your promises will be fulfilled, sustain us and strengthen us by this holy mystery. Guide us toward your promised future, coming to birth in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for sending these adults and children and messengers to bring your word to us this day. May this good news help us embrace the blessings you bring that change our lives now and for future. Send us now to spread the word concerning all that we have been told, so that others may bow down to worship you too. Amen. bringing good news that will cause great joy for all people. A Savior is born in us today. He is Christ the Lord. He brings blessing, renewal, light, power, guidance, and salvation. Expect him and worship him every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is near. Thanks be to God. As you share God's peace with one another, we're going to have um, a special postlude from Evan <coughs> out of him. So listen as you as you exit.